Hello there and welcome back to this channel. In this video, we will be talking about somebody that you know and you might have been interested in his story and what his next plan of action will be because he has been in the news in recent time for different reasons, both good, both bad and some just in between. I'm talking about MC Macaroni, whose real name is Debo Adebayo. Let's talk about Debo Adebayo's political ambition. Yes, if you did not know, you know that now that Debo Adebayo is not seeing a political ambition in the forthcoming 2023 general election. You get what I'm trying to say? This man is a skit maker and you might know him as Freaky Freaky. Daddy, wah, among other things. He has a lot of, I mean, catchphrases that he has popularized. Daddy, wah, freaky, freaky, let me freaky your account. I just sent him 1,000 naira, you know, known for his promiscuous activities in his uh, skit. He recently incorporated another personality, Professor Hardlife, in his skit also. Now, uh, Debo Adebayo was born on the 3rd of May, 1993, and he has been a social activist right from when he was a child. He just got a bigger platform. So don't think that the NSAS movement in 2020, that it was a big part of, and the calling out of politicians that he is a big part of, is something that he just started doing. That has always been him. In fact, the activism that he's been involved in had cost him his admission about three times before he finally graduated university. So he spent several years in school. And even that, that when he was supposed to graduate, his school actually rusticated him few days to his convocation to him leaving the school so let's start from that journey then we'll continue into his personal life and then his political ambition is how i will cap up this video this man that is born in lagos state but originally from ogun state attended four different universities first off Straight out of secondary school, he got admission to study law at a private university, but then unfortunately for him, by the time he got to the second year of his study, they were informed that the course law was not accredited in that university. And so they tried to do some accreditation, and because it's a big part of the movement and social movement in the school, he was one of the front runners trying to negotiate with the um, school, trying to negotiate with the NUC, the Union of, Uni um, Union of Universities, and all of those things. But then, when they saw that it's like the school was not interested in accrediting law, he had to drop out and leave that school and then seek admission in a different uni. Then he got admission to study law in another school. Then he got into the school and while he was a student, he got into, I wouldn't call it an altercation, but he had issues with one of his lecturers. I assume, no doubt, that it is because he it was, it, it was speaking out in class or something about some unfair treatment, I want to assume, and then he had issues. He wanted to try and sort it out, go to the school authorities, meet up with Senate meetings, you know, just try to clear his name in the situation. But when he realized that this situation was not going to stop anytime soon and it was delaying him continuing his study in the university, he quit the school and then sought admission as well. Are you counting the number of schools he has attended now? I mean, this man is just getting admission so quickly. I'm like, ha academically, you have to be sound. Now, moving on from that, he got into a different school to study creative arts. And I felt like, okay, probably it's because of law. Maybe I'm too hard for law. Then he decided to study creative arts and he got admission to the school. Upon getting the admission, the private junior, so he was informed that the course creative arts was not starting that session. And so he should study English instead. And it was like, Really? So he left there and finally got admission to Redemash University, Ocean State, to study theater arts. And so, like, oh, finally, yay. So he started studying theater arts in the Redemash University. He was a president, was the president of the student union government. So, on Twitter, using the Twitter app, he put up a post against the school and some of the actions that the school has been involved in that does not benefit the students. Just a few days to his convocation. So, Redemash University rusticated him. This is this result. He didn't get a certificate and he had to sue them to court. They went to court and it was on for different years. Eventually, though, they had to settle out of court. He agreed to settle out of court and that was how he got the certificate about two years after he graduated. And so he had to now start serving. So he did really serve with his way younger colleagues. You get what I'm trying to say? But that did not stop MC Macaroni because look at him now. He's making his money. He's not all that matches at the end of the day. People that left school when they did left school. 
What are they doing now? I don't think that's why I'm doing this video though. Let's continue talking about MC Macaroni. I'm laying all this foundation so you will know that it has been in him. And now that he is nursing a political ambition, I want us to talk about it. Let's look at it this way. What political party is he going to join? Is he going to run as an independent person? Is he going to, you know, maybe join one of these upcoming political parties? Or is he going to go and align with those people that he has spoken up against? I mean, the popular parties that we have currently is he going to do that and what are the chances that he would win i don't think he's going to run for the governorship position i mean is he going to gubernatorial election is he going to want to contest that if mc macaroni wants to do this let me know from in the comment section how do you think he should do it or do you think he should even take any position at all is it okay that he should just remain an activist an advocate for and being a voice of the people because there was a time that instagram skit makers went to see the vice president of nigeria and uh, mc macaroni when we were the internet was talking against these guys that went to visit the vice president is saying you guys are not really on our side why are we paying you why are you watching your skates and whatnot and Mr. macaroni said yeah i got an invite but i just did not know it's because i can't bear to sit with those people so is it okay for him to even get into politics because at the end of the day you're still going to have some of these people in power in one position or the other that he might need their alliance in order to further any cause for whatever office he is in so i would love to hear from you from that now let's get into his personal life um i've got talking about his education he graduated from the Germans university way after he should have graduated now mc macaroni at one time hinted that he was a virgin which is not true because himself and fellow Comedian and skate maker brother Shaggy Samuel Perry put up on their tweets. They tweeted that they were virgins. And Nigerians, I mean, not Nigerians, a certain lady came for Samuel Perry, but the Shaggy and said, Shaggy, you've had sex, all of those things. And so MC Macaroni, in a bit to avoid controversy, came out to say, Na lie, I lie, you're not joke, I did. I have women I'm sleeping with, but we did not know who his actual girlfriend is. Nobody knows that. If you've been wondering, Mommy Wai is not his girlfriend, Mommy Wai is actually. It's not my business. One wife shall know his girlfriend, in case you've been wondering. Now, we do not know if he's in a relationship. He's been carrying himself as a single person. He is an actor. He has featured in several movies. He's featured in T.K. Kelani's, T. Kelani's movies. He featured in Tunde Kelani's movie. That's T. Kelani. He's featured in several big productions since his breakout as a skit maker. He's actually an actor. And that is what he first refers to himself as because he studied theater arts and his dream was to become an actor. He actually started Instagram skit making in a bid to tackle boredom and poverty because he wasn't making it big as an actor as he hoped he would. So he just started making skits and that is what propelled him finally into the big on the bigger platform and is using the platform well now in my opinion anyways guys that's it concerning debo adibayo mr macaroni freaky freaky daddy let me freaky your accounts um, <laughs> among other things i will see you in the next video let me know if you enjoyed this one in the comment section subscribe if you're yet to do that take care of yourself guys and bye